I'm Scott Allen Miller and it is the 8th of May 2022. It's Sunday and this is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all of the moms out there. We're here in Friendswood, Texas, a suburb of Houston. And today for the first time, if this sounds different, if things are different, I am doing my first ever recording uh, using a lapel mic uh, directly hooked into the GoPro. So part of my, my haul of new things from Amazon that I'm getting to take back with us uh, to Nicaragua in a week is a new lapel mic from Rode. This is the Rode uh, Lavalier two or something like that it matches matches if such a thing can be um my uh, rode wireless go to system it is designed to be paired with that as much as anything can be i do have a, um, a lavalier that uh, i used to use maybe 15 17 years ago when i used to be a podcaster uh boy that's been a long time right and i it's an akg it's nice i've never really used it in a, in a super long time i do know where it is it's heavy it's not as good as this uh, from a, a physical standpoint and I don't have the clip and I'm like you know what I'm just getting a new one and if I really like using a lavalier I may go buy a clip and start using that one um, for my secondary or whatever but for my own I wanted to have something new and light and small uh, and it's got a dead cat on it and it, so I got it intending to pair it with my Rode Wireless Go 2 system then i don't have that with me right now i have the gopro with me and i'm like wait it'll plug right into the media kit obviously um so i should give it a try so that's what we're testing today the mic directly into the gopro to see how this sounds i'm very hopeful because this is an easy setup to do the the mic on the media kit is pretty good uh, and it's got a dead cat on it but there's a lot of times that i'd like to do without the dead cat because it's a little bit hard to pack and there are times that it doesn't get exactly what i want and there are times that i want to be able to show things to you so for example i'm walking along and i say oh look at this beautiful neighborhood i want to spin you around and be able to show that to you and with the lavalier my audio does not change because the audio is still coming from the same place and i can show you what i'm looking at and come right back into frame and we don't have a problem the audio stays the same the whole time you can't do that with the mic on the camera it'll do front or back i can cut between but i have to stop the recording do a bunch of settings it's just it's not fluid with this we can do a few new things that we don't normally do and that's something i might actually take advantage of because uh, there's a lot of times that i'm walking around and it'd be, it'd be nice to be able to show you things and be able to keep talking uh, and change up what i'm showing and it's just too complicated currently i can totally do it it's just a nice feature. Um, other things that I got so far in our haul, I got a couple, a, a new SSD uh, for editing because I actually use more than a terabyte per day in editing. I know that sounds crazy, but I fill up, it's because of the proxy files and everything, like it expands a lot, but I do a ton. So moving to two terabytes as my working space is going to really help. And then the one terabyte that I use currently can be my travel uh, drive to use with my laptop. So I, I've got good use of everything that I have. And uh, a cleaning kit for my lenses has come uh, and a few little things. I did misorder some cables. I got to reorder that. Um, and then uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to, I'm actually getting a travel case for my GoPro, which is, you know, it's a couple of bucks. It's just a little thing that zips around. But sometimes I need to be able to throw it in a bag and I can't uh, or I don't feel comfortable doing it and that's going to solve that and I'm, I'm it's the little things right when you when you travel and do video like I do it's these little things make a big difference in usability one of the best things I've bought in the last year is these little five dollar silicon covers that go over the lens on the GoPro that has made me be like okay I can put it in a bag I can you know I can do things with it because I don't want the lens to get scratched and I'm always worried about that and that protects that it has made me so happy so i said you know what that made me so happy i'm also going to get this little protective cover it's like a hard nylon zippered cover for like nine dollars right and that's going to mean i can just throw my gopro into that drop it into my backpack or whatever and feel completely confident with the silicon cover in that that it is totally safe and i don't have to worry about a thing so that that i'm hoping is is going to be arriving soon tomorrow i think uh so today mother's day uh the kids did artwork for dominica it was what we always do for everything pretty much we have the kids always do crafts and, and handmade things because it, it's weird having kids use parents money to buy parents things right like it doesn't make any sense and living in a place like nicaragua the idea of buying anything that isn't explicitly needed uh that we then have to ship and travel and deal with is just it doesn't make any sense at all so buying physical things in general is is pretty much off the table uh, it has to be very strategic not just because of the money but because of the space 
in the luggage and the weight and just all all that stuff so we're we're very cautious about those things uh so today was was mostly just a relaxing day we didn't do anything big for mother's day uh just hung out at the house for dinner we did have uh homemade tacos which is funny because the first you know we're like we gotta go to taco bell we gotta get tacos everywhere we're doing just meal after meal of tacos today is not an exception dinner was homemade tacos they were fantastic so much better than taco bell and taco bell's pretty good uh so i was very happy about that i'm feeling good with the non-stop tacos i just wish we could find a way to have tex-mex tacos in nicaragua it's oh, such so close to perfection need tacos I don't really know enough about tacos to start my own taco restaurant, but believe me, it has crossed my mind a lot. I would be my own best customer. It would stay in business just from me eating at my own taco stand. <sighs> I digress. Um, so today I did some video work, got a couple episodes up, uh, was at the kitchen table for the most of the day, and uh, yeah. It's been a pretty relaxing day. We're we're enjoying a little bit of time off because it's the weekend, and you know, uh, Joe and Britt came over and brought over the kids, so everybody was able to to chill today. Uh, Francesca and Emily did uh, another live sale tonight, which uh, they needed to do because Sundays are their big days. They had done one yesterday, thinking maybe maybe that would be enough, but no, Sunday's the big day, so they they did that uh, tonight. So we actually got to watch it this time. They did it at the house while we were at the party last night tonight we were all in the house so we had to be completely silent which was kind of weird being in the house with everybody's whispering and being totally silent and they've got the phones a couple of different people had the phones on on TikTok, and so they're watching the thing being recorded upstairs live which is really interesting it was, the whole thing was neat to actually get to see it take place in real time and it's the entire evening they went from i don't know like six or seven o'clock until like midnight one o'clock in the morning uh but it went well and uh certainly was entertaining from a is is this what they do like really getting to see it kind of kind of thing uh so that's our day tomorrow monday uh dominic and i are stuck doing the actual work that we're here to do uh and the first two main steps we have to contact the bank here and try to get them to give us the paperwork that we need uh which is pretty extensive um for just showing nicaragua you know our banking history and then uh we also have to get a hold of our lawyer who hopefully has our house documents um because we were not in the country when the house sold so we've never seen our house closing documents and we have to produce those so i'm hoping our lawyer is holding on to them because we need them so <laughs> by tuesday if we're lucky we get to run to austin to deal with an apostille process if we're not lucky we're going to be running to dallas to try to get some papers if we're really not lucky, I don't know what we're going to do, but it, uh, the reasonable circumstances have us going to either Austin or Dallas or both tomorrow. Really hoping we don't have to go to Dallas. We're sure we do have to go to Austin one way or another. Uh, not tomorrow, on Tuesday. Um, so that, uh, that, could, that could be a lot of... It's going to be a, a bit of a stressful week trying to deal with all that stuff. But overall, today was a pretty nice, relaxing day, and we'll be hitting that stuff tomorrow. I hope this sounds good. If it doesn't, let me know. If it sounds awesome, let me know. I uh, really want to hear your feedback because this I don't mind recording this way. This could be something I do all the time. Um, certainly always looking to make things both easier and better. So we'll see how that, uh, that works. And sometimes soon... Uh, not while I'm here in Texas, because I only have one camera, I have no backup. Uh, when I'm in Nicaragua, I've gotten a number of questions about how do I do my vlogging rig? Uh, like, what, what am I using and stuff? So I want to take my secondary and film my primary so you guys can totally see what I'm using. I mean, it's nothing, it's not very interesting, I don't think. But people have asked, and sometimes it's interesting just to say, oh, that's all you're doing. Oh, that works really well for how simple that is, or whatever. Or, gosh, you know, that, that bigger equipment that you only use sometimes, you really should be doing that more often off and think about that so always looking for that feedback but i really want to see how this sounds so i'm excited to check that out thanks for joining me please remember to like subscribe tell your friends ask your questions about nicaragua get involved in the comments and i will see all of you tomorrow